friends, welcome back to part two of the NLU Cup. My name is DJ Pajowski. Thrilled to be with you for a couple of fantastic alternate shot matches here at Sweetens Cove Golf Club. Part one was a total split, each team grabbing a point. What will we see in part two? Who could possibly say? But I've got my good friend Neil Schuster here to help me break it down. Sit back, relax, and enjoy part two of the NLU Cup presented by our friends at BMW, a global partner of the Ryder Cup. All right, pleased to welcome in the uh, the absolute spark plug of Team Schuster. Uh, Neil, how are you, man? Horns up. I'm well. Good, good to see you, bud. Likewise. Yeah. How's likewise. the family, Dennis? How's the family? How's everyone's, big Dennis? everyone's doing good. Uh, thank you very much for asking. How about on your end? Where are you in an undisclosed location? Mountain, New Jersey. Um, at my girlfriend Carson's parents' house. Moved out of my apartment. The kid's homeless right now. But he's happy to be here. Got his elephant shirt on. Always cheers me up when I throw that bad boy on. So I'm ready to uh, ready to break down some film. Let's get in the get in the film room. Yeah. So we had Danny get in the film room the first time around. Uh, obviously, you know, a nice nice start for your guys' team. Uh, yeah. Where was your mindset going into round two? And then also talk to me about you know partnering with uh, Mr. Woodhead as well. Well, you know, I as I said on in the uh, you know round one coverage, I, I was a rewards member in the Bone Zone. Um, but I knew for the, for the good of the team that we had to break up that, that dream team. Um, and I just thought that Danny and I would be a little bit like, uh, like thunder and lightning, you know, a little bit like, uh, Reggie Bush and who is, who is thunder? I can't remember. What's his name? The guy that put for the Titans. Wasn't it that weren't the Jags guys thunder and lightning? Keenan McCarty no, and Jimmy Smith. Yeah. But that, but the running backs for USC, Oh, uh, sure. God, I'm can, gonna get roasted. I'm gonna get roasted for not remembering his name. Uh, he was the power back. Anyway, not that I'm the power guy, but uh, I thought Woodhead and I would we'd be able to, you know, speak a kind of speaking football talk, you know, and get each other jacked up. So we were kind of deep in our process, and I was looking forward to doing a little alt shot with him. And also, I mean, for the sake of the content, I kind of wanted to see where Tron would put Bone in some of these spots at Sweetens. And I, if I remember correctly. It, it's not going to disappoint. Let's uh, let's dive in. Let's fire up. These are the alt shot foursomes matches. Session number two of the NLU Cup. Here we go. Woo! Beat slot. I like it. Looks like a great pretty, ball. Looks pretty nice, bad dude. boy. Good ball. That was the baddest boy out here. Corn pop. <laughs> bad dude. He's... Oh no. Shit. Oh, I heard it. I got it. I heard a great uh, car path. Yeah, yeah. What are you, Lauren? We're safe, though. That is in the ballpark. Yep. Now we can up the ship. Come on! Yeah. Oh yeah. You see, guys, that's how you try to do it. Yeah. Um, this is gonna be really good. You just want to blade it out of the bunker. And, you know. Hit it! Oh. Good shot, Rob. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> Right there. Oh, Never a doubt. Is that it? I owed you that one, Rob. Never a doubt, my man. Oh, oh wow. What a putt. That was good. Process. Process. Yeah. Sorry, we're great. Oh, gosh. Man. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> Bones up. Meant to hit it. Yeah. Right where you hit it. <laughs> All right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Big hop. Is it short? I mean, that is, that's maybe the purest shot I've ever seen. Oh, uh, put that on the down so good. Oh, ah, wait. Sit. Yeah, I like where you're leaving me. Good. Oh, wow. Run, Randy. Good yeah, good try, good Randy. All right, Neil, early lead. Uh, Got to like that. I want to ask you about a couple things. First of all, uh, seeing your teammate slash brother whiff a ball uh, in the first session had to be fairly jarring, I would say. Uh, but then he steps up and really like played pretty well the end of session one. And then, you know, obviously off to a good start here. TC has a lot of grit to him. He's, you know, he knows what it's like to, to be behind the eight ball, especially in a, uh, a Gutenberg, a high press match. And so a whiff on the first tee isn't going to spook him. I love the cohesion of our squad. We had, you know, Bones just a complete joker, right? The guy is just always looking for a cheap laugh, which is a cheap thrill for me. And then Woodhead's all energy and Tron's just like, you know, focused on like, don't embarrass yourself. Don't embarrass yourself. If I do, just, just push forward. So it was a, it was a uh, good collection of characters. You know, producer whispering in my ear is, is the bucket hat on backwards? Yes, uh, which we didn't realize. You know, it was hot out there, so it was a lot of, you know, take it off, give it, you know, give it a little dab here. All right, well, let's move on to uh, number two here. Chill, 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 chill. Well, uh, that's not where we want to go. No. Oh, All right, it hit the rock no, path no, and went straight. My dad, they me. All right, love it. Ball's not boys. Like it a lot. Sit down. Down. Ah. Sit. Sit it. No, no, no. Shot. Shot. Bro, that's so good. One good drop. Do you want to? Yeah, you want to place it up here. I think that's good. Watch. Yeah. Got it. A decent line. That would be faster, huh? That's so terrible. Ah. Sick. Four putt. We like those. <laughs> that move. That match moves to all square. All square. All square. What a battle. Man, that oh, is so good. Good ball. Good ball. That's gonna go right in the middle of that thing. <laughs> Go. Best drive of his right. life. Best drive of his entire life. It's a U.S. quarter, but like my wife gave it to us my anniversary, it was 
For 18 holes, my lowest score is 58. So she got the 1858. Where'd you do that? I did it in Canada on Sunday to win. 58? Yeah, you want to talk about the bomb zone? <laughs> you were unconscious. I was, there was some sort of zone going on. I did. I laid up on 18. Yeah. Oh, they are all trying. Well done. That's good. It's a four for them. Man, it went left. Ah, uh, is this That's good. good? Ah, sorry, partner. All right, Neil, a couple things stuck out to me uh, on hole number two. First of all, Neil has changed locations. We're looking for better Wi-Fi around the house. Keep an eye on that as, as it develops. Number two is, is an easier hole out there at Sweetens, but it reminds me to use a sports analogy of a routine 6-3, you know, ground ball to the shortstop. But if you don't charge it, there's a lot of funky hops. You got to get that alligator hand on top. You know, Catch it, it between it, it, hops. Yeah, like you yeah. just have to charge it. You have to, you know, because there's a lot of little funky nuances to it. And like weird putts you end up with or just weird lies in the fairway or whatever. It's like straightforward, really easy hole. It should be a birdie, but it's often a double bogey. And it's like early in the round and it can just really like, you know, a tale of two two cities, right? You're going one, one you know, the best of times, the worst of times out there. All right, let's uh, let's charge into number three here, if we if we will. Let's Jason Bone on the tee. Carry, oh, I think you got it right. Oh, right in the lip of it. Perfect. Awesome. Great ball. Ah. Get Oh, no! Sit, sit, sit. Oh, no! Sit, sit. Come yep, on back. Yep. Oh, not roll off into the trap. Good swing, man. Come on. Well, well, well played, bro. Well played. That's it. A little weird. It's still counting. Still so good. Two ball there. Two ball. Nice. So good. Great ball. Let's go. God, that was Durden all day. I was going to say, it. that was was that the first look we've had at the Durden ball? It was. I had a good process there. I told Danny, I'm lined up on the tree at the green. If it fades, it fades. If it doesn't, it's going to be the go zone. Let's actually pull my beard. Cut the end. Oh, oh, bro, bear. Be the shot of his life. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Dang. No, don't you dare.
so pure. Great shot. Good shot. Good hands. Four, that is a five. Such a good up oh, oh, Mega five! Wow. Let's go! Let's go. All square. Pretty good five. All right, Neil, you guys are all square through three. Uh, I want to ask you, you know, seeing Danny's game up close a little bit, obviously, you know, it's no no secret the kid played a little football himself. Uh, you must be familiar with playing golf with a lot of football players. What what do you see from his game? Well, it, you know, he strikes as a natural athlete to start with. Like the kid in PE growing up that was just like, could just pick up any stick or ball and just kind of make an impact on the game. But it's, it's clearly like an unnatural or an unconventional move he's got. I play golf a lot, a lot of my buddies from football that are, you know, they, they try to apply what makes a good football player, which is just like outwilling people and squeezing out reps and like, no coach, I can do it, coach, I can do it. You know, it's like the Rudy mentality and it never works. It's like, if, if you can't go up to the next shot after you hit one OB and try to hit it harder, it's like, no, I'm just going to try harder <laughs> this time. And Danny's the first person I've played with that may have like kind of, made me doubt that argument because like, that's what he does. Like he swings so hard at it every time and it seems to work. And the one place though, on the golf course where I think you can like will things to happen is on the green. And like, he does have that knack of like irrationally thinking everything is going to go in. Like, I'm going to make this putt. Like I'm just going to, I'm going to mentally make it happen. You know, it's just like some like psycho competitiveness which is just awesome to witness and awesome to play with. All right, let's move on to number four. That match remains all square. would think that's going to do it for this one. Get them back to one down. Well, listen, I don't want you to have to talk shit about your teammate, but never good when you have the range finder out uh, for the second shot on a par three. Is that fair to say? That's fair to say, but that you got to 
you got to know that you're going to get a little bit of that with TZ. And that's why, you know, Steve Kaplan, I thought that, you know, Bone could put him on his back a few times. And, you know, already in this match, TC's, you know, you're playing with house money a little bit. Like the, the approach you hit into one, you know, so you got to take the good with the bad from TC because he is giving you a bunch of strokes too. Don't forget that. That's true. Uh, you know, Neil's Wi-Fi is starting to is starting to struggle a little bit. Well, we are monitoring the situation. Keep keep an eye on that as as it develops. Uh, we're gonna go to number five, probably the signature hole. If if Sweetens Cove has one, uh, they moved the tees way up today, and by they I mean me. Uh, moved the tees way up, and I'll just spoiler alert: everybody massively struggled. Can you can you tell me why people struggled with the up tee on five? It just feels like every time you walk up to five tee, it's a it feels like a shot with a lot of, um, feels like a big shot. There's like some, it feels dramatic and it feels like, man, I got to step up and hit this long iron or three wood perfectly. So you, it's, you put a lot of pressure on it. It's like a, there's a build up to that shot. The more you play sweet, the more it's like, man, I want another crack at that one, man. I want to hit the green here. You know, this drivable four, I really want to like hit the best shot of the day. And I think a lot of people put a lot of pressure on, on that specific shot. And which is why I think people struggle there when they probably, most people should just lay up to, you know, have a 90 yard shot in and probably make birdie more often. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's see how the uh, competitors handle it. Hold on. Before we do that, can I, I would like to call. Hold no, on. Sorry, dude, sorry. I don't know. Start Hold on. Over. Carson, are you streaming something? <laughs> All right. Can you, can you get off the Wi-Fi for me? Damn, I'm getting laggy as f up here. Can you just go on your service? You got Verizon, right? <laughs> Help me out, please. Okay. Yeah, I'm live. We're live. I before we go on to five, I wanna call out uh I wanna call out Randy's SEC tailgate outfit with the pop collar and the visor. I mean, he looks like he's just a diehard Kirby Smart fan. <laughs> That's <laughs> <laughs> well said. Well said. Let's uh, let's move on to number five. <laughs> that was the the Ted Ted Nugent ball. Oh. <laughs> Airway binder. Oh, that's so the com cool. competitors. Jones is not going to oh, that, hey, That's the out. number I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> ah. The competitors really took advantage of that that gettable four here. Oh gosh. All right, those guys up. It's all right. Wow, we're gonna manufacture a car out of this. Why does it feel like, hey, why does it feel like I'm on heroin? <laughs> Red dot, I'm scared. Super Bowl, Super Bowls are nothing. <laughs> you know, you crap. No. No reaction yet. Got a great shot. There you go. I hit it right where I wanted, so. Danny. Great putt. Great putt. Comfy for. Freaking huge. Inside the uh, grass. You'll be fine down there. You're playing off grass. Mr. Zone, what club you got? Uh, it's my uh, three hybrid. Okay. High one? Uh, 
Uh, I don't think I got, I, 237, now I got, I got to have a little loft underneath it, but. Middle shelf. I think it's got to come this way into the hole, doesn't it? It's, I, I got to draw it in that way and. Yeah, I do too, right? I might have to take this upstairs. Oh, you strangled that thing. You know what happens no. when you do that? That's when you squeeze the shit out of the hoodie right here at the top. That's the strength. It's a chloroform ball. It's a chloroform ball. But, uh, Smother. <laughs> I don't know anything about that. I just know. <laughs> Good. We have no idea. That is so for real. That, that is so for real. Man, that might be best shot in your life. Did you put him there to test him? I did, yeah. That's some skill. It's fun to test your ability. I'm an athlete. Yeah. That's your athlete. I'm an athlete. That is phenomenal. Oh, uh, it's got to be outside, right? Oh, sorry, partner. You're right, man. I was behind you so much. I was like, he's probably going to cook. Oh, yeah. Oh, what a great putt. Good par. Good par. Great putt. They remain one down. One down, all square. Oh, no, hold on. Uh, we were gonna, nah, that's good. We were going <laughs> to wait until he went through his process. Pick it up. God damn it. You ruined it. Wish is a good surprise on you. I'll tell you what. A couple things there on five that stuck out. One, uh, you talked about how, you know, maybe it's a heady play to just lay up. I think maybe subconsciously that's what you were thinking, leaving Danny about 110 yards into that 230 yard hole. I thought that was interesting. I don't know if you want to speak on that a little bit. Yeah, I was trying to do too much there. I was, you know, I was trying to hit like, it was a DJ ball. I was trying to get artisanal, get a little chippy cut. Man, I probably should have just nuked a four iron instead. And so that was a stupid, uh, that, I was lost in the sauce a little bit there. What did so you I made it? Rock bottom for both of us. Cause you see Danny on the next shot. Like we were both just like, what am I doing? You know? And then we got it up and down. And another thing I'll call out is where my chip ended up versus Rob's. Like that sums up Sweeten's Cove to me. It's like my chip, his is probably a little easier than mine, but like, if you catch the ridge, right? Like once it's down in that bowl, it's, you know, it's not going to be outside 10 feet. And then right. his, if you miss it, it's like his was almost right next to mine, but he went three feet too far. So it's just really fun to watch, like kind of living on the, on the edge. It both makes it easier and it, and it like, it's just rubber the green overload out there, which is awesome. You, uh, you mentioned one more thing while we were watching that, uh, Randy's chipping. What did you, what did you see from Randy's chipping there? Well, I've seen a couple of things from Randy's game. Chipping first, it's been, it feels like a, a lot of moving parts. <laughs> it feels like a lot has, like, a lot has to go right. Like, he's like, man, it takes a lot of effort. Uh, yeah, it's like, man, he's really, really, really trying to put the club on the ball instead of just putting the club on the ball. It which feels is why, like a lot of effort. Which is why I think the hybrid is such a good play for him. I know. It, it just doesn't feel like the, uh, that like, I mean, that was a tough shot. He, and he hit a good shot there, but I'm just like, man, um, whereas now his full swing doesn't feel as much like that. It feels like it's a lot looser and more carefree. His chipping looks like his old, you know, the chipping still looks like old Randy, not yeah. reborn Randy. Um, one other thing we should point out is the chloroform ball, <laughs> which is, is something that, that Deej, uh, you pretty much invented the chloroform ball. It's when, when he tries to hit the bad boy and the bad boy is what I hit on the first tee, which is basically a, a right to left, like draw. But the chloroform balls, when you just smother it straight left and you just, <laughs> you know, you walk up, it's, it's like the movies when they walk up and they, they, you know, drug the guy and put him in the back of the van. Uh, it's always, it's always fun to see that. <laughs> it was fun to see that from Jason Bone. Uh, out it there was. At number five. Very cool. Well, one thing I'll say about Bone too, it was not this round. I thought it was this round, but it was the, the best, the, the four ball in the last round. 
I think he hit three wood both on five and seven or five. Yeah. Five and seven. And it, it's like that club three wood to me shows a lot of times the difference between a pro and an amateur. Like there's a huge dispersion with my three wood. And I even see it with Solly's game where it's like we hit three wood maybe once, twice around. And so I'm always anxious to pull it out of the bag because it's like the first tee all over again. And even when bone pulled it out in that first round, I was like, man, I kind of got nervous. I was like, ah, oh, like hadn't hit that club all day. But then he just hits this absolute gorgeous laser. You know, they was like, oh, of course he's going to do that. You know what I mean? It just feels like there's so much curve and dispersion on an amateur's three wood and they don't hit it often, but a pro can reach for it and just know they're going to hit it great. Well, I think, yeah, I think a lot of that also speaks to a time in the game when driver wasn't the easiest club in the bag to hit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Whereas that's now well it said. is. And, uh, yeah, so I, I know. He, that's a really good of, point. He's, he's very throwback in that way, which is, which is interesting. I echo everything you just said. I, I feel yeah. the exact same way. All right, good, yeah. good point. Let's move on to number six. Okay, oh, cover on that line. I think he might be able to clear it. Yes. Oh, I don't know. I didn't see splash. Yeah, yeah it trickled in at the yeah, end, it yeah. but it's way down there. And they're stroking, right? Oh, that's ah, sexy. Nice. That, that is munched. It's like a dead, a dead hand, dead hand draw. Oh yeah, I, right there. I didn't even, bro. I felt like I. Like your hands are just stuck. Mm -hmm. Sit down. Sit down. That is going to be a five for four. I believe that's probably going to give him a lead. Oh, Mr. Big. Oh, yes, sir. Sit down. Perfect. Ideal. Sit down. Perfect. Ooh, perfect. Ideal. That is perfect. Treacherous little pin here. Hang on. Hang on. Stay up. Hit the same. Stay up. Hit the same. Kick right. Oh, ho, ho, ho. All right. Oh. Touch grass, though. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, we get, we get the angle. There goes the stroke. Oh, that's just like, yeah. so, I got eight. Yeah, that. So, like, I would be. What are you maxing out? Um, 60. Let's get a 60 shot. Yeah, what is that now? Let it be Man, it's close to the hosel. Oh, wrong flag. I've got some work to do. What is that shot? I was trying to be. You don't go left of that flag, <laughs> ever. I mean, that's so good. That's so good. Perfect. Okay. Great job, man. Yeah, awesome. Really good roll, oh. Randy. Yeah, great pot. Comfy four. Oh. Woo! That was pretty straight. 
Yeah, that was a great first putt to give me an opportunity. I didn't think I was going to have anything. All right, good stuff there on number six, Mr. Bone. Uh, makes up for that miss on two with a nice... Uh, that's that's a borderline impossible two-putt. You and Tron were in kind of the same spot there. That's that's so, so good to two-putt from there. Yeah, I love six. I think that's one of my favorite holes. Even though Rob says it doesn't really fit with the rest of the course, it's just really hard. And that was the first sighting of, of old Icarito. Poor club selection there. Great swing wrong club and and you see what happens right like you know danny's worried about getting out of the bunker and then he flies that ridge and, and you're in jail then it's a, it's you know it's a five or six i think um, uh one thing that's interesting is hearing about your miss right there and then seeing lauren's miss which is oh gosh i accidentally yanked it uh you know 20 feet below the hole uh what <laughs> we haven't talked about her much and we're going to hear from her on the next episode but what uh what do you see from lauren's game you've played with her a couple times now well it's metronomic tempo which Listen, as you know, reading from the book of the second serve before every round, I'm trying to hand out literature on tempo these days. It's, it, I'm born again, you know, with the second serve off the tee. So well, I also, love you're it. You're also I, a drummer too, which is, you know, in line with that. Exactly. But you wouldn't think so with how I've played golf for the last 30 years. But uh, no, her, I, what I love about Lauren's swing, it's like it couldn't be more on plane. You know, like if you went to the golf coach and he starts putting the yellow lines everywhere and like her club wouldn't, you know, it would disappear behind the yellow lines. And she doesn't, what I really love, especially with the iron, she doesn't take it back very far. And so it's just like, oh my God, that's going to be so consistent long term. Like playing against her, you're kind of like, man, she's going to heat up. You know, it's almost like unnerving because you're like, man, she's not going to miss a lot. Like she's going to, and then once the putts start rolling in, it's like, you know, the microwave, she's going to heat up quick. Um, so I, it's fun to it's really really fun to uh, to play with Lauren because you hit it in a lot of the same spots and she just you know beats you from there every time. So it's pretty it's pretty cool, man. All right, let's see. Uh, let's go down to her on number seven here. Great shot. Yeah, good one. Good play. Swing. Good ball. Good play. I think I need to pull my Bryson DeChambeau here. I just need to unload I, everything I got into. It. Get a, get a big yeah, I mean, I just gotta try to hammer it anywhere up there, right? If I just get it, if I'm not in the bunker, I'm in good shape. Oh, she's about to get weird. I went right at that, it was going. Anywhere on the green. Like anywhere on the green is a huge success. Yeah, you want to use that over there. They are going to go two down. That's good. TC, two up. Come on. Guess which way? Keep going. Go, 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 go. 
So good though. It might be over. Muddy over here. Get over that. Alright, alright, this for birdie. That's a winner. Back to all square. Play action over the top. Tell you what, DJ, I'm starting to love you right now. Get me we are on. taking the top Give off. Give me TV That's time. Baby. It's amazing. Let's go. All right, Lauren. I feel like we're kind of a broken record on this one, but seven is maybe the the hole more than any other hole in my in my life that I've played where you can see some of those shots where you chip it up there to 40 feet and you're like, God, that's so good, man. That's great. That's all you're looking to do. Well, our perspective's so jaded from playing that place, you know, 25, 30 times where you're like, yeah, dude, right in the center of the green. That's all you're looking to do there. Like anything, anything else, it's over the back. Like I was saying on Rob's, I was like, man, he should have just bladed that over the green. Like you'd, you'd much rather have the puck come up the right side of the green than the left. Like right. that front left, like, like middle left of the green is just, it's purgatory over there. Well, uh, so you and Danny getting it back to all square, two holes to play, uh, you know, Boys starting to vibe a little bit, maybe? We were. I think we were starting to, you know, we kind of had some play action going there. Um, kind of, we established the run, you know, early. It was kind of a, a back and forth matchup, three yards in a cloud of dust. And then we just decided to take one up top. Uh, so he ran a trail route and I kind of dropped it in there. And, uh, you know, we're off to the AP, you know, to celebrate. Band, band horns up, baby. <laughs> All right, let's go to eight. Shorter too. <laughs> Shorts fine too. That's a good number, though, right? Very fine. <laughs> that's probably a great number for me. That's a three hybrid. That's a Shelby. That's a perfect yards. number. <laughs> I'm just trying to get the nine. <laughs> just trying to want to play nine. I mean, I don't know, man. With TC, it's like it's there's no in between. It's either the best shot you've seen all day because it still shocks you to see him hit it good lefty, or it's that, right? Or it's there's like when you play golf from your dominant side, there's like a rhythm factor. We're like, oh yeah, I can, you know, like I'm building, like I'm finding it. And then TC just probably four or five times around just resets everything. Like you just back to zero with a shot like that. We're like, I mean, how do you, like, how do you find any rhythm after you do something like that? He, you know, it's like, he has no clue what caused that, right? And I'm, and, and then he's got this real high right shoulder thing going on, you know, which is like, he's like, no, no, this is what my coach and I are working on. So I'm like, dude, that doesn't look, I don't know if that looks right. You know, it's like his shoulders like up here, you know, he's like off the screen with it. So, uh, but, but then he comes back, he keeps his head about him and he comes back. Uh, and you know, like after he whiffed the one on the first tee, comes back and hits a great one. So it's like, who knows, man, maybe you know, he's on his own journey. God, you're such a scumbag. Good so good. Randy. Yeah, here for some literal fireworks here. 200? 
Still following it. And that's going to just about do it, folks. Here's Randy's third. Got to think this one has to go in. Still probably not enough. I think that's gonna do it. Fantastic shot by Mr. Zone in there. I, I gotta tell you, it was all set up by the tee shot. <laughs> I had the perfect number <laughs> on the upside. I mean, it was 200 yards right up on the upslope. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> Good win, boys. Yeah. Well done. Well done. All right, point on the board for the team. Uh, I want to start. You know, I feel like Randy doesn't doesn't take a lot of heat in the press, and I'm not afraid to call out that I think it's absolute bullshit that he's not hitting hybrid around the greens out there. That's well, that one, last shot. That was unbelievably up, stupid in, in my estimation. He's got to make well, it. He hit it. Every single time he chip. hits the hybrid, he hits it, you know, he hits it up there within a foot of the hole. And then he chunks a little wedge that, that, that you know, is six feet short. That was bullshit. Yeah. I mean, like, you know, solid chip, we'll call it. But you know what is even more interesting? He didn't even have, like, he had his putter laying next to the ball. He didn't even have his hybrid out. Like, it's like he wasn't even thinking about it. So I don't understand that. And uh, how about Mr. Zone just stepping up and hitting one after after Tron put well, him to the perfect number, 200 yards into that green? Uh, I mean, shot of the week, I would say, probably. I, I think so. But I would say this. Notice how, you know, the class act, PGA Tour professional says, you know, he, he gives the credit to Tron. He says, you know, it's, it's all Tron with the setup there. You know, put me in the right spot to uh, to execute and, and to uh, to look good. So, you know, hats off to him for being such a humble winner. We talked about the the easy six four uh, punch out there earlier. I think that was like the third baseman complete backhand has to whip it all the way across his body off the one the one foot. Like yes. you know, gets gets up in the air and throw it downhill. Exactly. That that's what. And I and you got the stretch from the from the uh, first baseman. <laughs> Andy might might have uh, needed a little help from Blue there as well to yeah. uh, to get the call. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's see if you boys can uh, win number eight. They're all square going into uh, the Beeritz hole here. Yeah, that's fun. That's that's delightful. How do you drop it? Oh, oh baby. you know what I mean? Oh my lord. That's so yeah. good. It's quite good. Really good. Go. Oh. Oh. I, 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 I think it's still gonna be awesome. Wow. Rob, yeah. Rob, Great shot. Great Rob shot. undone Great by shot. his own creation. Great shot. Dude, that's been like every spot has been like two feet away for us today. Yeah. This for Eagle after a great drive. That broke a lot more than I thought. Bro, good there. Bro, we talked about speed, didn't we? Bro, I love that. Speed, and speed, we run it. Speed, three. speed. Pace, pace, pace. Guys, win nine. You're gonna ace it. All right, let's go. Get it half. All right, seems like a theme, but Rob kind of done in by his own creation there. Instead of uh, you know catching the slope the way Danny did, his rolls back. They're not able well, to get up and down. Like, 
Rob created Sweetens to be very, like you can miss right all day out there, you know, and normally I think his miss is right, but you know, all both rounds he's been up the left side a lot and he can just see he's, Rob, Rob's, uh, he, he's got some Opus Day in him, you know, he's, he's putting the side link on, he started to tighten it around the thigh, you know, so it was a, it was a frustrating morning session for him. And then, you know, a few rub of the green moments out there in, in uh, all shot. Well, this is uh, the first match that finally makes it to number nine. The the famous, uh, I don't know, a mega Rodan, we'll call it. The high shoulder on the right side. You can use the slope, work it all the way down. But, of course, we're going to see the pin down on the low side where the play is pretty much just hit it right at it. So, uh, without further ado, let's let's just get right to it. You guys, you know, it's do or die, baby. You guys are one up going to the last. Disgusting. Yeah, it looks quite good. It's disgusting. Yeah, that was the spot, but that's what yeah. you're hitting the right spot. I love it. It leads me depending. Right at 130 shot. I think it's earlier. Yeah. I, I don't think I don't think I need to go up here. I think it's I'm playing that flagpole. Honestly, it's my might, might, play a, might play a touch longer. Touch longer? If it's hour. Yeah. You can come off that back a little bit too. Yeah. Come on, Solly. That was sick. Hey, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Listen, heart is, great shot. my heart is like right. <laughs> hey, Solly, Solly, is someone, yeah, is someone who's aced this hole like one and a half times? It's really cool to see. <laughs> Danny, you see that like sandy dot right there? I think I think you get it just inside of that, it's going in. Standing for birdie, this for the win. Good play, man. Good play, Danny. Good play. Great play. Great play. That was never in doubt. Oh, God. Oh. Yes. Come man, on. I could cry. That's why we worked so hard. In hey, August, that's, that's two on days. you. That's on that's TC. I also want to thank my mom and my dad too. <laughs> they they oh, raised me right to, to right. read those right to left or something. I'm proud right now. I'm, I'm freaking proud. God, darn That got creepy. So creepy. Love my mom maybe it's, maybe it's my wife had some potentially an excessive celebration. I could be don't. 15 yards in the kickoff. But what did you it. think of the walking? I thought it was pretty. Uh, and I liked and it, so I responded accordingly. And I, God, that was fun. That was, that was I've always wanted to do that. Right when that was cool. Like, kind of like Danny, that, that didn't seem like a, that didn't seem like a Danny Woodhead kind of thing for you to do walking in. Well, no, I, he's, well, he's, he's, he was telling me earlier, he would pop up after getting oh, trucks did. And I would just give one of these and go, Right there. That, so, felt, that felt good. Still here, bitches. Well, it's a good thing you made it. Because that was... Oh, disregard. <laughs> Never mind. Sorry. We've been in our own world. Hey, you know, we didn't we didn't play good enough to win. Those guys, they went out and got it. Hey, and you guys want to go... Two birdies, last two holes. You guys want to go play it? I'm, up in some nasty, oh, yeah. isn't it? I'm not even close to where You guys want to go play it? Rob wasn't quite the uh, afternoon. To just talk me through it a little bit. Well, I thought we had him after six. Um... I felt really good about going into seven, eight, and nine with them. Uh, I did not see us doing any worse than a, than a half, so that was kind of surprising. We messed it around a little bit on, on seven, then I think we got a bad break on eight. I mean, I hit a really good drive, and it just caught a bad break, and, and Danny hit a, hit a great shot, and uh, Neil hit a, hit a good putt there, and then they, they won it on nine, so they deserved it. But, uh, 
We were just a little loose. What, uh, what's got to change during singles tomorrow? I got to quit hitting the ball left. <laughs> Period. <laughs> uh, how's it feel playing under pressure? Or under the camera? Um, I actually don't feel any more pressure than normal. I mean, it doesn't, doesn't bother me at all. I mean, I always put pressure on myself to try to play well anyway. So um, I'm just frustrated that I'm not hitting it the way I want to hit it. Well, hey, I appreciate your time, man. And we'll, uh, we'll see you tomorrow. We'll We're see you tomorrow. tomorrow. We're coming after their ass tomorrow. I got a feeling. I got a good, I got a big believer in fate. Neil, you talked about uh, Danny just willing in putts. I don't know that we can really uh, call that last hole anything else. I mean, it's, you know, storybook ending there. You know, let the confetti flow down from the Superdome or wherever playing this Super Bowl of our own creation. Uh, one thing I'll say about Woodhead is you play football with a lot of guys that have, like, fake positive attitudes. But he has, like, it's it, every, like, you hear throughout, it's always just like, God, that's so good. Man. Like, I uh, love that. Like, uh, you know, just like, but he means it, you know? So it, it's hard not to get jacked up when that putt went in. I just, I, w I went nuts. It was great. Also, the mega light is worth pointing out in the background. I mean, you know, truly a, a producer's uh, dream there for uh, the pie band. I would say it's much more beautiful than our cameras even make it look out there. Yeah, at, uh, and darker, of course. Of course. Uh, well, a big sweep for the boys in uh, foursomes. Congratulations on that. We'll see uh, if you guys can close it out in the singles matches in the finale of our NLU Cup Series next week. Neil, any parting thoughts? No, I mean, just devil horns, baby. <laughs> Let's keep rolling, you know. We got to get that NLU cup. Thanks for having me, Pie Man. Always hey. a pleasure. Sip on a cold beer with you, brother. Anytime. Uh, go get that Wi-Fi figured out, and uh, we'll we'll see you next time. All right. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>